Watch Destiny Matters here on REST TV, Thursday and Sunday nights with Pastor Charles Casabanti. Blessed be the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the, the, who has given us grace and mercy to be here today. I want to welcome you to Destiny Matters. I know that you've enjoyed uh, wonderful programming here from REST TV. You, you've just enjoyed the Caribbean moment. And uh, we have intention to keep pushing and sending a lot more of this wonderful Christian programming for you and your family in the new year. It's a new year. I again want to thank our partners and friends and those that love Destiny Matters in particular. And you follow and you, you, and you love and you learn. And uh, the feedback you send me on the messages, on the online, on, on Messenger, Facebook and uh, every other platform that we have that you are able to return and tell me pastor I'm blessed by destiny matters those things are priceless and they keep me moving keep me keep me reminded that I'm relevant in this time and so I'm excited and from all of us here destiny matters we want again to wish you a happy new year um, since the year began we have been talking every Sunday night how to prepare for a new year and we want to do this until the end of the month of January. I am excited. So I'm here with uh, uh, Pastor Martin Okalanyi, uh, one of the pastors here at House of Inspiration. And, uh, is, uh, and today I want to take more time to talk to you. And perhaps even we want to pray with you actually. So we, we decided to come, just the two of us. So we're going to break the word, have conversation, and then we want to pray. That limit is broken totally. You negotiate through life and begin to see a new level of anticipation and expectation that only comes in trusting and believing God. Yes, Pastor Matt. Uh, good evening to every viewer that is watching right now. I uh, want to take this opportunity to welcome everyone that is on Race TV uh, on this wonderful program, Destiny Matters. Uh, this is a program where your life cannot remain the same. If you tune in the words of wisdom uh, that come from this program, from a man of God and the different men of God that appear uh, on your TV every Sunday, they are words of wisdom. I want you to know something that uh, we are in a new year and uh, a new year requests uh, for new energy. So on this program, we are here to give you energy and knowledge, wisdom and understanding in the discussions that we do. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs chapter 20 and uh, verses number four, that our sluggards do not plow in a season. So uh, as we give you the knowledge, the information that you require in this season, this new year of 2022, I encourage you not to be lazy. Take this word serious, practice whatever you hear on this program, put it to play and your life yeah. will never remain the same. So even today, I know that your life is going to change. Amen. That is right. Every word we share here requires an action. Yeah. Keep interacting with us. We're going to be praying today because you know some things that people deal with are more than just uh, natural things. And so they need to step into the spiritual realm and begin to pray and cause a result. I want to begin with the scripture. Stay with me for a little bit tonight. We want to deal with the spirit of limitation. Limitation, a como. Your life is limited. You are a restricted man. There are areas you are not allowed to go. That sometimes even when you go through them, you, you are regarded as a trespasser. Today we want to break that limit by the power of the Holy Spirit. That, and you are about to enter places and boldly declare, I belong there. That is where I belong. There is a scripture is in the book of Songs of Solomon. Chapter 4 and verse 12. Songs of Solomon or Songs of Songs. Chapter 4 and verse 12. The word of God says, You are a garden locked up. My sister, my darling, my bride. You are a spring enclosed. A sealed fountain. One of the things I've been seeing a man of God as, as we, uh, we've been breaking the word in the new season. You look at people that have got potential, have an ability, can literally change anything, but certain limitations have been drawn around their life, and they are restricted people. 
there are people that have the willingness, the energy, the right attitude, but something in life restricts them. What is a man restricted? It's like something says, barriers. And many barriers of them. Abamu kumwe, you are not even expected right now to be at a certain place. But you are going to prove everybody wrong by breaking those barriers and mindset things that men have set concerning us. You know, do you know that men can set a mindset concerning you? Now, this woman in scripture, the Bible says she's a garden locked up. Oh, she's a fountain that has been sealed. She's a spring that has been blocked. You know, man of God, um, it's very amusing. Uh, the, the choice of words that are being used in this scripture, uh, uh, revelation, themselves are also revealing something. Because the Bible says a garden enclosed. Yeah. What is a garden? If you want to understand, a, a, a garden is a, is, is a place where uh, we sow and then we expect to harvest. You sow and then you expect to harvest. It can be a garden. And then they're using the word garden. The garden is enclosed. And then uh, they're saying, my sister, my spouse, a spring shut up. So a spring is also shut up. They're using the word spring. So I want uh, someone that is watching to understand the three words. Garden, spring, and fountain. fountain. Uh, these are all words that can produce, that can bring out something. So I want you to know something today on Destiny Matters. That uh, you, cannot, you cannot be limited if you're not productive. Uh, the, the, the enemy only limits you because you're productive. The moment you notice that there was some kind of barrier or there's some kind of limitation, it is a clear understanding to you that uh, there, there must be something special yeah. that is uh, uh, being controlled or that is being stopped to come out of you. So today as we're doing the word of God and we're breaking the bread, uh, the, the first thing that you have to put in your mind is that if there is any kind of limitation in your life, there must be something special on your life. And this year 2022, uh, somebody just has to become very deliberate. That's right. Yes. Some people are a garden enclosed. Why? Mm. Because they are even too good for where they are. Exactly. Mm. You meet them, their potential is not matching their results of their life. Mm. Their input is not matching their testimony. And, and that kind of life is what God is dealing with in matters of destiny. Yes. That you need to learn how to pray mm. yourself out of enclosure, enclosement. Mm. Yeah. Mm. potential. Have you ever been the man of God and you even sit down on TV or on radio and you hear people talk or people minister mm. or people do whatever they do? Mm. And when you look at them, you can you tell. You feel like you can even do better than what exactly. they are doing. Exactly. Yeah, you, I know. You, you feel like, I, if I had the opportunity, yeah. I would have done better than that. Yeah. Exactly. But that person is the one who is there, mm. and you are outside watching them. And you know, uh, what, what limitations do all these barriers? Yeah. They do a lot of things. Uh, some of them that they do, uh, they, they, they make you lose opportunity. Yeah. Uh, they make opportunities rare uh, to you. They make you lose your confidence. Yeah. Uh, they make you lose your self-esteem. Uh, you look at yourself as somebody who can do nothing because of the barrier that is there or because of the limitations. Man of God, uh, most of the times now, the example you've given, uh, you may look at an opportunity or a place or even um, uh, 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 something like maybe an employment opportunity or that may come your way. Sometimes to love adverts ku, yeah. uh, ku online, no love advert ku, ku website, your company, companies Zimo, and you look at the advert and uh, within your mind, you, you typically think that you can go in for that job. You can apply for it and you can acquire it. You can actually get it. Kubanga qualifications, whatever, go bozina. Na ye kugamba, what barriers? There are some limitations that the devil puts up. Ezitan kukuba mbongobo, mind you. Musumba, zinalinda biko application, job application ku internet. Nenye galo jia apply ingida. Na ye company jia limo, bechi tuongu lechi ya limo. Na labida dana nganze, ewafe. We work from Chikachi, we are from the company, we are from organization, we are from the So, Chiatan came to my mind, the barrier we are coming to my It made me think that even the physical qualifications that I have cannot take me there. Yeah. 
yeah. that I cannot actually go there. Yeah. And, and, and we need to ask ourselves a question. Mm. How do I overcome these barriers? Yeah. Because one of the things is that eventually you shared with me your testimony. Mm. How you went and applied for a job that is literally, even me, when you shared with me, mm. I could hardly believe yeah. <laughs> that you found that in a newspaper. Uh. You applied for it. Exactly. And you got a job. Yeah. It was far out. <laughs> yeah. and, and, and there was no, n there was nothing like a recommendation. Because even up to now, uh, some of my friends still call me and ask me, Wafuna yo tia yu? Wachukoro tia? Awalababu adverts, maudi the bebuza. Because uh, uh, it's hard for them to believe that I could have gone in there or I'm working with the company right now, with the organization, without any kind of connection. Yeah. I can apply for this and can, I can really uh, get in that job and do it and work it. And that's where I'm working right now. So, so people need to understand that restrictions don't stay. Exactly. One of the things um, that breaks barriers and limitations, number one, is consistency. Yeah. 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 Consistency. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Consistency. Mm. You have to be consistent enough to the place where you even become persistent mm. so that you can wear out resistance. Mm, mm, <laughs> you know, mm, mm, mm. there's that place in your life where you are repeating the same thing over and over and you become persistent exactly. mm. until you wear out resistance. Mm, mm. Consistent, staying in a formula. Yeah. Uh, you, you need to be consistent even when results are negative. No results are negative. Consistency is zimba. A Zimba result, you wait at the end of it all. Yeah. Even right now, what you're doing does not yield. Just become consistent. Daniel is a man of God who used to pray. And uh, there's a time that came, season Neto Kajalinga, Afuso Molabi in the kingdom. Uh, because of his uh, his God, the God that he was serving. Daniel chapter 6 and uh, verses number 10. Uh, when a decree had been passed uh, to put this man in the den of li a lion, in the den of lions. Maybe uh, uh, tough fitting um, regulations. But it's amusing. The Bible in Daniel chapter 6 and verses number 10. That when Daniel knew that the writing was signed, the decree for him to be put there, he went home. And in his upper room, with his windows open towards Jerusalem, he knelt down on his knees three times that day and prayed and gave thanks before his God as his custom since his early days. And even when um, a, a disaster was approaching him or the trap of the enemy was approaching him, Daniel consistently yeah. the people watching right now and they're asking themselves, how am I going to be able to overcome the barriers or the limitations that are uh, before me right now? We've just started the year. So right now there are people who in a plan stand in planning the devil has already planned for you and uh, he wants to make sure that you don't you don't go beyond that level. But I want you to behave like Daniel. Yeah. If there is anything else that you've been doing and has been yielding results, yeah, and I believe that um, the greatest results in your life mm. are not are not in the things you do once in a while. Yes. The greatest results in your life are in the things that you do consistently. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Mike, uh, uh, Mike Maddox said, every 1,000 hours you spend on anything mm. makes you an expert. Yeah. You should be an expert in anything. You spend 1,000 hours. Mm. So 1,000 hours means if, if you do it for maybe a year mm. and you do it over and over, you have to be an expert. Yeah. So, but one of the ways whereby you're able to break certain limitations is by keeping on pushing in the areas of your strength 
being relentless. Uh, there's a scripture in First Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 18. Paul says his words. He says, for we wanted to come to you suddenly. I, Paul, I did again and again. But Satan hindered us. blocked our way. Yeah. Or hindered us. That means you can have a good intention. You can have a good vision. You can have a good mindset. But the enemy hinders you. Many versions use so many words here to mean hinder, blocked, stopped us, uh, stood in our way. But whatever it is, it is talking about a limited man. Yeah. A man who has a good intention but cannot see the results because they are limited. Now today we want to pray for you that is watching this telecast. Yes. Every limit that the enemy has put on you. Yes, Jesus. Every barricade and barrier in your life. It must be removed right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. Tukusabite katonajiwe misamvu. Yes. Ebizi izo ulamu. Some people even judge you and they say you're lazy. Or you don't have time. Or you don't work well. Oh, but sometimes people have actually done their best. People have done their best and they have brought out their best energy. Mm. And some things they are dealing with are spiritual. Mm. Mm. That it is certain. Paul here says, I wanted, mm. but the devil wow. blocked us. Yes. It is Satan who blocked us. Mm. I, I have a good vision for the year. I have a good intention for the year. Mm. But the devil is blocking it. Mm. Yes, Lord. Your vision, your desire, your intention mm. to be broken from the, the root in the Jesus. mighty name of, of Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. It's very yeah. amazing uh, that uh, um, consistency you want to, if you say a bit limited by, by the mind, someone's mind. Uh, mind you, cast every angle, pull against us, Sobola. It has to be very consistent. Uh, truthfully speaking, you're watching Race TV now. This thing matters, but uh, even if you put names of achievers on paper right now, Motivi, Murumi, Oria, Omodiro, Oria, no fun, no rupa, plan, pen, no tan, kuwani, because the achievers that you know, uh, biblically, even outside the Bible, most of them, in a month, in a month, Sobola, kuwa, get a kuwa. Because the achievement, kuwa, si kuno, ngataba di consistent. Be consistent because the only way you are going to shake off some of the things that are disturbing your life is by repetitively doing what God has told you to do. Even the consistency, as you practice your consistency, you have to do it in the will of God. You have to be doing it in, in line with, what, with the will of God concerning your life. Kubanga ate kagenda bila kabenje kamanyo kubeda until you're consistently doing something that is not in the will of God. So uh, one of the biggest prayers that you should pray at the start of the year is for God to reveal his will concerning your life. And when the will is revealed, you are able to be consistent in the will of God. It's a very big accident for you to consistently do something that is not in line with what God wants you to do. Yeah. Yeah. It is cooling you. Yes. Emukonsonga, the reason why I believe the prayer is a very big part and parcel mm. of a man's destiny. Yeah. Uh, and consistently repeating to prayer. Mm. Uh, when you have a constant enemy, mm. you need a constant prayer life to overcome. Yes. I don't know if that makes sense to you. Mm. When you have a constant problem that blocks you over and over, mm. you cannot overcome it by a one-time prayer. You need to have a consistent kind of life of prayer to the place where it becomes a style. Secondly, not just prayer, but prayer of revelation. Yeah. Many people pray out of uh, fear, out of worry, out of anxiety, mm. but you have to learn to pray out of revelation. What is praying out of revelation? Mm. I shared here one, one time, Jabez, from the lineage of his father, Jabez got a prayer revelation. And the Bible says, and Jabez prayed, Oh my God, that you may bless me indeed, mm. that you may enlarge my territory, that you may take me out of harm and, and take away this pain. It was a prayer he did not pray for one day. He prayed consistently because he got a revelation. To the point that the prayer is written in the Bible as a prayer of Jabez. Yes, Salah, most of his life. When you look at the story I've given you, 
of First Thessalonians, Paul has said again and again, again and again we tried, but the devil blocked us. So in verse 10, they take it to another level in chapter 3. Now, First Thessalonians chapter 3 and verse 10, what does the word of God say? It says, night and day we pray. Most earnestly that we may see you again. It became a prayer point. It became something that they were crying out every day. Because they know their problem, they turned their fear into a prayer point. In verse 10 they said, night and day we pray most earnestly that we may see you again. Somebody has to have a prayer revelation for this year. You, you cannot be praying about everything. Focusing what is the major place where you have to put your prayer. What is that revelation that you have before you begin to shanda gada, diko brade dayada. You must shanda gado kaba, yeah. but in revelation. Exactly. Knowing that I have understood exactly mm -hmm. where God wants to help me. Yeah. And they said, and supply mm. oh, what is lacking in your faith. Yeah. We want to see you yes. that we may become a part of what Shada you're doing. Ba, 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 ba. Mm. In verse 11, yes. this is how they prayed. They said, now mm. oh, may our God mm. and Father himself and the Lord Jesus clear the way yeah. for us to come to you. Tika tonda kati ateme kubo. Echitegeza. Bwebazulo wuzibu. Badja muku sabanga. Badi specific. Echimu kubintu yabine mese sana za fokutuka. Tika tonda. No kubotola. Tezidi intention no. Sana zidi everywhere. Yesterday we had. You know we are in 30 days by the way. Of fasting and prayer. Here at the house of inspiration. And uh, we are hosting men of God. And uh, this week we, 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 we've been having Pastor Karim Chitunzi. Yeah. And um, I know that by this evening, uh, we'll be able, we, we're going to be having pa Apostle John Bonjo. Mm -hmm. And uh, a few others are going to be joining us. Mm -hmm. But uh, Pastor Michael Chimoli, in the coming week, if you want to join us, join us here at, at, at House of Inspiration. Yes. But one of the things that Pastor Chitunzi said yesterday, he said, if you walk into church, and just burst into prayer without having total understanding of what you want to pray about. Your prayer life is not effective. Yeah. For example, the Lord's Prayer is written. You know, the priesthood prayer of John 17, it is written. Prayers of men like Ezra and Nehemiah. They prayed, their, pray, their prayers are written. The prayer of Jabez. Many prayers are particular, they're intentional. What did Abraham ask from God? What did Moses ask from God? These prayers are recorded. But some people walk out of, of a prayer service and they can't even remember themselves what you are praying about. Omuntu avamu service. testimony. Most of the times I think about prayer, but you food the dini. If yeah. say, it, it has become so much of a uh, more hey. of religious. Eh? Uh -huh. So, but the, the Bible says in the book of uh, uh, the book of James. Yeah. Um, let me open James chapter four and verses three. Bible government, you ask and you don't receive because you ask amiss. Uh, about people praying if you pray you don't attach value to prayer or the prayer that you do if you consistent ngoli consistent mu musaba yo nayenga engeri jo twala mu over value jo attaching ka kusala jo saba uh measuring up to what you're praying for you're not going to get what you're praying for you know kastobira mu mbera bwitu uh musumba these are the people that you find um ngano kusaba kwe 
te kuri consistent engerija yeah. sabamo because failure to attach value on something is, is, is an automatic way of you not being inconsistent toso akwera consistent nga toina value ku chintu chintu chota wa value toso akwera consistent bible ya, ya wandiki wa first Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 17 nega mantu we should pray without always. ceasing yes. pray without ceasing pray always kati cha bantu bachitegera bubanga value teli we yesala musumba ngenda kusaba mu January and right now one ku house of inspiration uh, we are doing 30 days of prayer and fasting but pastor you're going to be surprised that after the 30 days of prayer and fasting abamu bagenda ku mmola yeah bagenda kuchiva ku bachi mmolemo nenga wera bidenti the enemy keeps on moving the enemy keeps on walking that's right you might have dealt with the enemy of January but there is an enemy in February March and all the months that are going to come so uh, your momentum of prayer in January uh, should even be the same momentum in February all the months that are going to come wabere wo value ku sala jo saba consistency mu ngeri jo saba mo uh, yegendo kuimo sovula mbo yegendo buchusa um, musumba yesterday in ancient you get the reverend karim and he said that uh, uh, some people do a prayer jetuita fire fighting eh fire fighting prayer abantu bazukuka emitawana jimazo kujja uh, barriers ngola bazikweto rode nyenge limitations ze yonge demo mwa kubanga muganda wange njaga lukubulira limitations are not going to end in january mu feb waliwe bigendo gorokoka musumba mu march waliwe bigendo gorokoka actually try you giranga edda musomero the higher you go the cooler it becomes so uh, the more you keep on going ahead of the year mu mwaka katonda kutegeke de binji na yate ne sitani na ye atekeka binji that's right so kati sala yo yegendo kuimira the consistency of your prayer is what is going to save you or deliver you kubanga katonda wa fetari ya mandaz First Thessalonians 5 and verse 17 yes. pray without, without ceasing. ceasing pray continuously mm. I want to I want to speak to you right now yes. there is a number on your screen on numbers both empty and airtel yes. I'm asking you kindly by the grace of God yes. that you first of all send your prayer request mm. be intentional and that copy you've only shared with us uh, that message share with us that copy and keep yourself one a copy for yourself mm. this month as I'm on the altar for 30 days yeah. praying with the church i will mention you before god yes. and i want to take your prayer requests and believe god with you mm. you are not a, li- a, a, a restricted man yes. you are not a limited man Jesus you're name. not a man of a barrier and blockage yes, Lord. you are god you are a man of possibilities oh, oh. by the grace of god yes. so what is the message you kuna mbezi ni kusimu katezo tugenda kusaba ko nawe mneba za katon ramu mwena 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 abaimya ne destiny matters anaba wayo ku destiny matters okuimya no mulimu guno mukama bawo mukisa wetuko mawo after this break tugenda kutani ku kusaba yes. no kusabira nsonge zenja holo mm. no kuwayo bula mbwa abantu abantu manji bali mkatuba giro tumanchi akola yes. amanyi gonoga je na gombuto yes. na ekatonda kitafe wa mukama fe Yesu Kristo agenda kuteme kubo wali tabadde osolo kuva mukatuba girako amina Yesu Kristo We will be right back. You're watching Destiny Matters. It's a new year, it's a new season, and I believe that it has come with new things for you. This new year will carry the grace, will carry the power and the mantle that comes from the presence of the Holy Spirit. The word of God says in Isaiah 54 and verse 1 and verse 2 that enlarge your press of dwelling straight forth your pegs and your tents let your tent be wide because many are the children of the desolate woman and god is speaking to you and message you right now that no matter what you have experienced or gone through you can rewrite a new pages fresh start new beginning new chapter right now and from all of us here at rest tv uh, we want to wish you the best of the new year praying for you thank you for supporting us partnering with us and watching us throughout the last years we pray that this new year as we continue to partner with you and to bring forth the message of Christ and to preach the kingdom of our God and to cause you to be encouraged and have hope in Christ that you may stand strong and never to give up until the battle is declared over and i pray that you shall not die but you shall live for this year to declare the works of God in the glorious name of Jesus Christ again Happy New Year. We love you. God bless you. Welcome back. I hope you're on fire. Did you send that message? Uh 
right there, please SMS your prayer request. The, the reason why this is important to send a uh, you know, prayer request is because then prayer becomes intentional. Nature was a bit of what you mind. So, go wait as I walk a copy came to your Sabi and I'm a Nyago Nejoli Fetugana Kusaba. In these 30 days, I'm standing with you in prayer. I will see God's goodness. God's going to bless you. For me, I believe people like me, I don't know about others, I'm a result of prayer. Whatever I have become today was humanly impossible. It was not possible by human standards. Katonda yeka. Ya amenye evi koligone misamvu. Ejini mbula mubu afe. Now in kusabira ngondava. Ate kulilevu kuliko limitation. Ejiyo no mutunga wali. You grew up to a certain level, but now you are on the ceiling. You are on the rooftop. You hit the rooftop. You cannot go beyond that. You know, there's a level of money that some of you have just been hearing from a distance. And you even gave up. You even laugh. You're like, I cannot be there. But God, the God of, of the heavens and the earth, who we preach right now, will give you the ability to break that limit in the name of Jesus Christ. Nature of Musuma Martin. Okuboto la kulimitation, techeta gamanyi manji. Toge de kusonga ya consistence. Toge de kusonga ya ukusaba. Nisonga ziba debili. Repetition of things and prayer. And the prayer also must be in consistence. But there's the other thing that I wanted to share with the people. And uh, that is the power of the seed that sits in you. Umayinti tino wazike nsigo mutaka. And you cover soil upon it. Na ye gwoso kuche unyanti akakola. Akechi janjalo. Oksoka yuza wote. Na ye si wakakola kukaina amani. Agabotola. Mutaka ni kavayo. Zene unyano omudo. Omudo. Bosimo omudo katingafa basimba wano pevaz. Okenzo kwe unyanti. Okenzo kwe unyanti. Omudo gufude wego tumu pevaz. Ni wepuza kuhisewa. Waguzika. Waguteka yo. But when something still has life in it, my God, mm. it can press on onto any limitation yeah, and right. barrier. Mm. One of the scientific explanations for why the leaf does that, because in the process of uh, how they call that thing, photosynthesis. Photosynthesis. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> in the process of that thing, yeah. scientifically, they say that when it when when you put a plant in a dark room, mm, mm. the moment it begins to grow, yeah. the purpose of that, of that plant, I think it's the law of germination, it is designed to look for the light. Yeah, it looks where the light is. It will not stop looking until the light has been found. Yeah. Mm. My God. Oh, Do not God. let darkness be the comfortable zone. Mm. Mm. Don't stop looking for the light. Yeah. Keep pressing on. Mm. When somebody has the ability to press on, what happens eventually, they begin to crack even the hardest places yeah. Yeah. because yeah. The, the push in them is greater than the resistance from the outside. Oh, Jesus. Wali wen sigo munda mugwe. Eyo waka tonda. Eye kupushinga. Enonye chitangala. Tesobo la kuba comfortable na nzikiza. Oh. Kati eyo. Kaste sukuru makubiku ziiza. You begin to break through. Musumba chufula ba nsige yonge kula. Kanuka nyumide. Bwebe kula. Mbubwa wakendele zechipa. Echimeranga chitele buwa mzikiza. Bwachiva chiva yonga chino nye chita angala. Bwachiva nye chiva mwoko weta weta. Chiva mwoko weta weta. Chite geza. Nti wechide eno ni chita angi nzikiza. Nga chichu usamu katudeke eno. Wechide eno wasa nzikiza. Nga chichu usamu katika tudeke eno. Iranga na walaba. This is not as right now. Wandivanga uina. Juwa weta wote na usa angi nzikiza. Nga weta guchu usamu kudesaidi endala. Odesaidi endala. Ogenda kuno nye paka vono usa angi chita angala. Ogendo kuboto lida. My God, I feel like shouting just by our, just by ourselves here in, in, in this on this on, in the studio. Yeah. Yes. Don't stop looking for the light. Yeah. You know, it's amazing if you put if if you put uh, this is what they use I think in in flower mm. growing. Mm. So they put room uh, uh, plants uh, within a room that's that's dark. 
So the plants will now grow and cover the walls. Wow. Because as they are looking for the, they don't die. Uh. All they are trying to strive is there is hope. Mm, mm, there's, mm. They, that there is a light. The, 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 moment you, the, the moment that plant comes out of the ground, Chite is a strong foundation. Because the moment you come out of the ground, the moment you germinate, Chite Giza, you have a strong foundation. Are you limitations around you cannot invalidate who you are in God. They cannot invalidate you at any point in time. So, if you have a child, you will 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 or you know, you can't mind you. Or you fine tuning. Or you take a system. A you work at home. Or you in the system of God. Most of Bible, you gamba in Genesis chapter one and verses number twenty-six. Mukama katuna ngakola the creation story. Uh, let us make man in our own image. Eh? Mo image ya katonda. Mo watonde wa. Kati omuntu ngori mo image ya katonda. Or any creation that is an image of God. Uh, Chitegeza omo sinji go guba mo katonda go salau. Eido kuchikiriza. Kwa wuta chikiriza, no gamba haa, kakati nchikiriza, nchiraba, ndimo imeji ya katonda. Na ze nchiganyi, ze nganze, our limitations ugenda za tractinga, urunja, ate zigenda kora. But the moment you deliberate, decide to believe it in yourself, that you are in the image of God, ubeira we wa domo senji, omogumo, oguta sobra kutiki wa wansi, in a limitation that yeah. may come your way. Th that's right. I hear a word prophetically for somebody. Yes. This year says the spirit of the living God. Mm. You're going to receive maximum support. Oh, Jesus. Every support you need to break the barrier, yes, you're Lord. receiving it. Mm. In the realm of the spirit, the Lord is releasing maximum support. Mm. Yes. No, 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 Oh, mm -hmm. a restricted man with a desire, powerful, yeah. a man limited but with a grace, mm -hmm. a man mm -hmm. limited but with an anointing. Mm -hmm. God says, Every support you need in the coming days, yes. the Lord is about to give it to you. Hallelujah. If it means breaking through walls and barriers, mm -hmm. the Lord will give you the strength you need. Mm -hmm. I wonder how a small leaf like that mm -hmm. can crack through pavers and concrete. To come out on top. Mm. The Lord ministers to you. Mm. Whatever barricade they put upon you. Mm. It will be broken forth in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm. Sometimes in life. You need someone who can remove the stone. Yeah. Exactly. Oh Jesus. I was going to take a moment. I was going to take a moment. I was going to take a moment. I was going to take a when Jesus came and stood uh, uh. behind the tomb of Lazarus, mm. the word of God says, and he said, mm. remove the stone. Yeah. I pray that every barricade that has been put in your way, mm. every stone of resistance, mm. which the enemy has been using against you, oh, you are educated but stranded. Yeah. You are qualified but nobody is appointing you. Yeah, yeah. I decree and declare mm. the stone shall be removed. Oh, Jesus. Okay. In the name of Jesus, Amen. we command the stone to move. Mm. Tonight, you are receiving an impartation. Mm. You are receiving a visitation. Yes, the stones Shata of poverty. Da, ba, ba, the ba, ba, stones ba, ba, ba. of fear and confusion. Oh, da, ba, 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 ba. Yes, Lord. Mm. Amen. 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 And the Bible says, and he stood outside. And when he called, he called the name Lazarus. Amen. You know why? Yeah. Because many people were dead. Mm. There were many dead people around. Yeah. It, it, was a, it was a cemetery. Yeah. If he said, the dead, come out. Well, Maybe all of them would have come out. Yeah. But he called a specific name. Mm. He said, Lazarus, mm. come forth. Mm. Oh, the stone has been removed. Yeah. That you no longer belong to the graves and mm. confusion and the mess. Mm. That you belong on a higher level. There is a level God is calling you up to. Mm. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. You know, Musomba, the stone being removed, we can also look at it in a way that uh, uh, there are some people watching right now and uh, uh, one of the ways to break limitations uh, could be uh, self-realization. Yeah. Uh, you realize who you are in Christ. I know who I am. So self-realization is very key. And uh, actually some people are about to rest TV right now. Abamo tebe mani teba ne zula teba ne tegira ngawe taga umoyo wa mukama katonda akukeko akulage chichori who you are in the kingdom of God what potentials you have what abilities you have uh, a, a man called Gideon in the Bible if you read Judges chapter number six uh, is a man who had potential he had ability to do uh, to carry out an assignment to execute an assignment ne yenga ye yari te yemani. Yarite yemanyi ngati yetegira no busobozi bwaina ngatabutegira tuba ina banji nyo musumba laba tv even right now you have many business ideas in your mind but you don't know who you are and that has put you in a place where you cannot execute some of you are struggling with diseases in your body in your system nayenga katonda kuwado busobozi na amanyo kulwanyisa ekintu echo naye olokubira ntumanyi chori uh, you down uh, you, you uh, wake kubagiza bachita kwe kubagiza tuba ina banja be kubagiza obusobozi babwina nayenga tebama nchiche bali musomba when uh, when god when the lord appeared to gideon judges chapter 6 and verses number 16 yeah. yamugam and the lord said to him surely i will be with you and you shall defeat the medians kati amwa awareness amugamba ogenda ku defeatinga abasajja bano ogenda kuba wangula naye before him telling him that in verses 14 the Bible says, Then the Lord turned to him and said, Go in this might of yours, and you shall save Israel from the hand of the Midians. I have sent you, or as I have sent you. Kati. Weta kaka tunda na kula gachi chori. Mbwaka baka waka tunda. Musajja gwe, obama kazi gwa laba TV enu. Naenga echo, suburu kuchifu na other place of prayer. You point jetu wata anse na yedi. Abantu wa mtu ugenda kuhi zula. You're not going to discover who you are in God unless you pray. And God reveals to you who you are. Kumanga bamo kumwe olimu nene nyono kusinga chicholo woza. But the limitations around you have put you down. That's right. So, you know, Gideon was, was, was restricted. Yes. But, but when God comes to him and says, you're a mighty man of valor. Exactly. Uh. There's a power in you. Uh. There's a potential in you. Yes. You can break that limit. Mm. You're bigger than Midianite. Yeah. What does the word of God say? Jeremiah 31 verse 11. Mm. I prophesy this one to be your portion Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus, yes. Jeremiah yeah. 31 and verse 11. Yeah. For the Lord will deliver Jacob. Put your name there. Mm. Will deliver Jacob and redeem them from the hand of those stronger than, than he. they. Oh, Jesus. I'm giving you a power and an ability. Yeah. to deliver you from an enemy stronger than you. Mm. Yes, that's the mind of God for you. Yeah. That's the will of God for you. Mm. He wants you to be delivered. There is an enemy is stronger than you. Yes. The limit is bigger than your potential. Yes. But God has given you a promise. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Can I help you? This year, you're not only doing what you're capable of doing. Mm. You're doing more than huh? above, beyond what Salah, you're able to ba, do. Ba, 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 ba. Mm. Oh, mm. I wish I was in the house mm. and, and mm. I'll be shouting hallelujah by mm. myself. Yeah. So this year by December, your achievements are not in your ability, oh. are not at the level of your education, mm. are not at the level of your finances. Mm. What you're about to achieve is going to be a god size mm. achievement. Yeah, yeah. And that is why the Bible says that he can do exceedingly oh, and yeah. abundantly. That is that Ephesians chapter seconded. 3 and verses number 20. Beyond what you even ask for, according to the power that works within you. Praise God. There is a power within you that we want to resurrect today That's for right. 2022 in the name of Jesus Masha Christ, Lord, our Father. May that power take you to a place of victory Shikababa. that your eyes have not seen, your ears have not heard. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Father. To sumurula mani ga katonda okuzuku sama genda gari ga ziki wa limitations. Ama akaunge zikuru wa lido. Morinye reye so kristo mwana katonda umulamu. Your life cannot remain the same. 
your life cannot remain the same because there is a power that we are resurrecting today in the name of Jesus. By the way, as we minister right now, Pastor yes. Matt, mm. somebody is moving out of confusion. Yes. You have been in a place of strandedness. You're not aware of what God wants oh, to do through your life or in your life. Ba, 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 ba. You're moving out of that place of confusion. Yes. You're moving out of that, of that dimension of fear and worry. Mm. The anxiety of your soul and your yes, mind. Lord, yes, Lord. God delivers you right now. In the now. name of Jesus. This is the importance of prayer oh. in the season of your breakthrough. Yes. In Jeremiah 31 and verse 9. Mm. You know, this is a promise God says, I will gather Israel back. But look at verse 9. He says, they will come with weeping mm. and they will pray as I bring them back. Mm. I will lead them beside the streams of water oh. on a level path where they will never stumble mm. again mm. because I am Israel's father oh. and Ephraim is my firstborn. First mm. God says, as I'm dealing with you, yes. you must be in a place of prayer and travail. Yeah. Yeah. I'll bring you to a plain place a place where you never stumble again. Njogera oh. kunaku nga ebya ku limiting anga ruli. Nga bifuse bya bulijo. Yes. One of the things that God does is he turns your limitations into stepping stones. Mm. Mm. That your barriers mm. becomes your stepping ladder. Yeah. 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 That yeah. you step on it and she rise above. Mm. He says they will come weeping but they will be praying. Yeah. They will be kaduka shata. Mm. Yes. They will not stumble again. Mm. As you SMS and send your prayer request right now, yes. we want to pray in the next 10 minutes. We want to believe God with you. I don't know what you're going through, where you are right now, yes. in line with the matters of your destiny. Yeah. But the Spirit of God says, mm -hmm. I am determined to bring you out of whatever swallowed you. Yeah. I stand here as a prophet of God yes. to stand with you in prayer and believe with you. The season is right. The rains and the winter have passed. The new day has come, says the Lord. The fragrance of the Spirit of God yes, Lord. covers you. The moment of deliverance of and Jesus. celebration has come. Yes, Lord. You cannot repeat your past failures, mm -hmm. says the Holy One of Israel. Yes, Lord. You have knocked yourself Shikata on the stone too long. You will not do that again. God delivers you once and for all. Every barrier break. Yes, Lord. Every mountain move. Right now. Every valley break. Right now. Some of you are in the uh, watching me. And that says the Lord. Yes, Lord. If it needs a bridge, mm. God will bridge it. Yes, Lord. To bring a connection. Yes, Lord. But you must cross over. If you need the parting of the waters, they will part. But God will give you grace to cross over. If you need a maximum support. It will come. Yes, For the Spirit of God says, I will send a wind yes. to cause my word to yes. be fulfilled. Isaiah, uh, Psalms 148 and verse 8. The wind of the Spirit yes. will blow in your finances. Yes, will blow in your life Jesus. to bring results Jesus. in the glorious name of our God. You are not a restricted man anymore. You are not a hindered man anymore. You are not a blocked man anymore. Yes, you are not a man that yes. is limited anymore. Yes. You are not limited. Yes. You are breaking barriers. Yes. You are breaking protocols Break by the powerful name Jesus. of Jesus Christ. Jakarta. We disrupt demonic Jakarta. networks Jakarta. that have been con coordinating Jakarta. your restriction, yes. your barricades. No. You that was restricted Jakarta. will now be allowed Jakarta. highly favored Jakarta. beyond measure. Jakarta. I pray for a woman who has been hindered. Yes, Lord. You cannot even have children. Oh. You are struggling. Oh. The doors are open. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. In these 30 days of prayer and fasting, I open the windows of heaven. Now. I decree and declare, they will open you will see the glory of you God. See the glory. Something is shifting in the name of our God. That spirit of laziness, 
that has possessed you and limiting you. We rise up again and sit now in the name of Jesus. Omoyo gobu na fogo. Oguku na fuiza. Oguku la ganto sobola. Oguku la ganto sobola kuita o. Oguku la ganti bidi abidi muebidi. Ogenda kugwa. Ogenda kule mirirwa. Yimose mikono jota ni kukula ingili na manye. In the name of Jesus. We you get it kuga mbe mpangula. Impita oku limitations. Echoyo chobu na fo. Tuchirumba tuchukuba. Muli nyeri ya yusa. Yimose kukile zako. Oguku every weakness in your body every weakness in your spirit every weakness in your soul now we bind weakness in the name of Jesus we are declaring tonight Every barricade, every spirit hindering your progress, every attempt of the enemy that has been assigned against you, be broken from the root in the name of Jesus. Every attempt by the devil to keep you in poverty, to keep you restricted, be broken right now. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of our God. Listen, we are praying for you. Send your prayer requests. Yes. Send in your, your, uh, your, your praise reports also uh, on those numbers. Mm. Listen, I want to personally invite you on this powerful prayer altar yes. uh, as, we are, as we are believing God 30 days of prayer and fasting here at House of Inspiration Church mm. in Mutundwe. It is off Naruko Rongo Road. Mm. The number on the screen, you can join me. Miracles are happening. People are being delivered. Why, if you're very far, why don't you plan to join me next Sunday? Here, from, t from 10 a.m., wherever you, you're coming from, join me in Mutundwe. In, uh, near, if you are in areas of Bosega, uh, Naruko Longo, Wakaliga, Lubaga Road, Oriao, Mutundwe, Sembule, Ifebi Njaulo, Najana Nkumbi, Zana, Nyana Ma, before being nearly accessible, we also look to come on a mutuum remuangudala. Jagala ban it is somewhere in Nakatona, Nachakula Munyumben. Yeah, about to us, Sumurua. Winds of Wangu, the Kekomo, Golico limitation. Ogamangazza, Komusumba, Nuana Nechi in two, Nechigan Yokuta, Jango de Kunanga Muksaba, Unakurencha, Mande, Tutan, the Kira Dala, Commande, and Chia, to get a Kuan Oksava with Kawunges, Kuya Dala Sawa Kumi as Akawunges, Jango, or to get a Kumine Mukumi to Tandika, or to get the Oksava Bidis Echiro, Kafia with Deu. Jango mm. berekuma sugu akatunda, yeah. ababila mifebi njia wulo duko John njia katunda na angi wano. Mm. Uh, bajita House of Inspiration Church. Yes. So don't look for destiny matters. Yeah. Look for the church House of Inspiration. Mm. Destiny matters is the fellowship that we do in the city and also the program here on uh, Rest TV and also the book. But yeah. the church is called House of Inspiration Church. Yeah. So mbani ni zamu na emutu undwe. Wano kuna ruk off na rukolongo road. Kastoba ngo tu sina rukolongo market area. Ngo yambu kanga demu tu ndwebu. Zabuli mtu wali yao. E kanisa ya house of inspiration. Oban tu alewa musumba kasivante. Bagenda kuleta. Njaga la katonda kuyambe mwaka guno. Bili abili mwebili. Nabuli every attempt by the devil to keep you restricted. Yes. We are going to violate it. Mm. Oh. We are going to break it. Jesus. Every attempt to keep you in disease, uh. we are going to violate it. Yeah. Every attempt to keep you restricted, blocked and barricaded. Well, you have to say, I'm going 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 to say, Golimana wakatonda. Yeah. And as the Kirisante Nakus the two young girls are with Judas. Ali Wale Nyonga to Natoso de Lokuyambiwa um, Oria Uga Pasta, Changi Agent, quite mm. a simo yo jukube. Mm. Nina Kuanga Sabakunawe, quite yes. a simo yo jukube. I'm standing with you in prayer. Mm. Let a message here. I'm going to pray with you right now. There's a prayer team standing by yeah. to receive your phone calls. Yeah. But I'm going, to, I'm going to make sure. That I respond to you as an individually and I talk to you. Send a voice note on WhatsApp. Send a message. We want to believe God with you. This year, the limitation.
that everybody in your family has experienced. Yeah. You shall be the first barrier breaker. Yes. You shall first be the first chain breaker. Amen. In the glorious name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Uh, if you want to break limitations uh, very, very quickly, uh, you have to get rid of excuses. Get rid of excuses. Uh, excuses in Uganda, but it's about here. Okwe kuasa. Okwe kuasa. Muri banji nga mwe kuasa. O inobu sobozi. Na iwe kuasa. Get rid of excuses and you'll see God work for you. Things are going to work out for you. Yeah. Kwa nga basi nga muri yao. Wafuna dani business idea. Na ye uh, oina excuses. Owa. I want to make a statement this night. There are excuses a fatal ground for limitations. Kat limitations zo ziba au. Na ye omontu unga ina excessive excuses. You're harboring, you're going to harbor them. They're going to keep on being there. Every level of your life that you're going to step in. If you don't get rid of excuses, you're going to keep on harboring these limitations. And they will, they will be a part of you. Just make up your mind today. You made it a Bible in Isaiah 60 and verses 1. Arise and shine. You cannot shine if you don't arise. Make up your mind, arise today, and you're going to shine in 2022. Make up your mind, arise today, and you're going to shine in 2022. That's right. Yes. That's right. Mm. These are matters of destiny. Yes. You're going to finish in glory. My it will end in tears. Yeah. <laughs> Yours is ending in glory. Yes. In the name of Jesus, Jesus. Christ. Yeah. Have yourself a brilliant night. Yeah. God bless you. I'm waiting for you at the house of Inspiration Church mm. here in Mutunre. See you soon. God bless you. Bye. Good night. Bye. Yeah. Watch Destiny Matters here on REST TV, Thursday and Sunday nights with Pastor Charles Casabanti.